coming with our new requirement over here so we want a <coughs> display only year in a drop down uh, so the trick this requirement can be of anything like um, it can be for, for the last 10 years you want requ you want to show the uh, year drop down or maybe future year uh, drop down uh, okay so how are we going to do this we do not have any control for this uh, but uh, we want to I mean the requirement says that you need to show only year in the current scenario my requirement is from last three years from last three years onwards it should show me the uh, drop down that is from 22 23 24 like that or it can if it is year is increasing to 25 then it should be showing 22 to 25 uh, then next another year it should show from 2022 to uh, 26 like that so 2022 should be my base base year and from there it should increment one after the other every every time whenever we are the year is also getting changed so how are we going to do that okay so for this we need a drop down anyways if you look over here you can see that my um, year uh, this uh, in my uh, in my case the year is showing 22 but it we are restricting it to 2024 only how are we going to show the drop down so that's the scenario so this scenario will explain this particular uh, video so how are we going to do it do it so i'm going to take a data page in that data page we will be writing a data transform so this is my data page so currently i am writing this in a code iphone peg iphone list you can write it on your own uh, data class uh, because this uh, writing a data page and code iphone peg iphone list got deprecated so you can take any of them and in that you can use data transform like get here so this is the code uh, if i open this data transform you can see i'm just checking whether the current year is empty or not if it is empty so this this particular thing will talk about uh, whether current year is empty yes of course my param dot current year is empty for now so uh, if it is empty then i'm making the start year as uh, 2022 okay then i want a current year the current year is uh, this year so for that um we are using one function format date and time in which we are taking the current date year, current date and time and uh, this uh, format should be in i mean only year so year i'm taking and rest of them making it as empty so when we test it it will be showing you 2024 okay so this is what uh, we are doing checking the condition whether the start year whatever the start year i'm taking is less than or equal to the current year so if it is true then i'm appending that into the px results of py note so in that py note i'm adding the start year so now it is 2022 then again it should be 2023 right so in that three in this uh, step the start year i'm taking it as parent dot start year as plus one so this is one is fine the next then again it should this has to loop it right so we have to loop this data transform so looping the things in data transform is not possible for that we need to write uh, activity only but uh, without writing activity how i'm doing is i'm recursively calling the same data transform again so get here again it will check for uh, whether param dot current is year is empty or not okay but whenever you send you are uh, you know like um, again you are recursively checking this param dot current year i will become empty so to to make sure that it is not becoming empty we have to pass this param dot current year also to get here so how do we pass so passing parameters to a data transform in data transform can be done like this settings icon of this data transform and select this pass current parameter page yes select it and submit it so that the current year will also go into this so now the current year is already having what uh, 2024 so it checks so it is not empty so that's why it will skip this 1.1 and it will come back to the uh, second step again it will uh, check current year what is the current year so current year anyways it is 24 only so again it starts whether uh, 2023 now it the start year becomes 23 now 2023 is less than or equal to 2024 yes it is true again 2023 would be adding over here and uh, then uh, param dot start year is called param dot start year plus one will happen and the same thing uh, we will be checking okay so we'll be checking that uh, 
uh, will be adding start here to this again data transfer would be calling so this is how the looping will happen and when we run this you can see uh, the clipboard value PY note with 2022, 2023 and 2024 okay so and we are just calling this data transform in uh, the section uh, where one property would be there and in that data page calling the py note here so this is how we do it so this is one type of requ uh, requirement in another requirement if they are saying that I want it from uh, 2000 okay from 2000 till 2024 only I want then we can make this as 2000 and then save it um, refresh then you can see that data is coming as 2000 to 2024 thank you